I'm back with another video. This video that I want to do is like an everyday makeup look. You can go outside, you can go do your laundry, you can even do date night. Something clean, something simple. So this is a simple look with a little bit of a highlight. Your regular browns on your eyes. Lips clear, no color on it. You know, just a nice look to go out on a date go shopping, the mall, grocery store. This is what I do, I'm gonna say 80% of the time. I'm very, a regular makeup type of girl. Something nice, clean, dewy, and pretty. And this is the look that I will always go for. Like, this is the look. This is my favorite by NYX. The creme brulee, let me put a little bit on that on. Okay. So if you want to see this look and how I got this look, this easy look, this literally took me 20 minutes, so it's not a hassle. It's so easy. Anybody can do this look. Okay. The video is coming up right now, so go watch the video, okay, y'all? Period. Point blank. <laughs> so ratchet. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the video. jump right into this look I'm using my NYX pencil in brown and I'm using my nigga K pencil in dark brown you know just I want to like a little gradient effect so I'm going to use both of them throughout the video you know because my eyebrows is just like I feel like it should be two colors so I'm going to go in with my LA girl pro and toffee and I'm just going to keep going in and out in and out please don't worry about the white cast because it's going to be covered with concealer or your foundation. So throughout the video, I know you guys will see a white cast. I'm going to go in and go in and shape my brows to the natural form it's in. I really don't do much, but I just make sure that it's a little bit darker and give myself a gradient effect. So that's what I'm doing throughout the video. I'm going up and down with those brows, making sure everything is spectacular and neat just going all around that brow please don't worry about the white cast I'm doing throughout the top of my head my brows making sure everything is blended in now I'm going to use my NYX paste in natural just to give my you know my eyeshadow something to stick to this is a natural look so you really didn't have you could have put concealer there but I just wanted to use this to be a little bit extra even though we don't need it <laughs> at all then I'm going to be using my brown script and then I'm going to go in with my Ben Eye Luxury Powder and Olive Sand just to make sure everything blends out together. So I'm going to go with that Olive Sand, blending everything out together. Then I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow and go in in the crease. Let me just fix this a little bit. I'm going to go in with my crease, just deeper than the color, making sure you have like a little color because anything with a natural look, I just feel like, oh my god, like I just have to use this eyeshadow making sure everything is blended out. I'm using a B Bella brush, a big fluffy brush. It's by B Bella. I'm not sure if you guys know the company or not, but they are cool with me. I like them. Now I'm going to be going in with my Semi Sweet Times 9 palette by MAC. I'm going to go with those two darker browns. You know, just make sure everything is darkened. Give it a little bit of dimension. Let's put some darker shades. The tip of your crease go back in with the NYX base just to go on top of the eye back on top of the eye now I'm gonna go with my morph palette and I'm gonna go with those two dark tan colors I'm be going in with that just patting it on pat 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 and smooth and on the other eye I'm gonna just be doing the same thing patting and smoothing <laughs> throughout the whole thing to go back in with the same brushes it's very important that you use the same brushes that you used before because you don't want everything to get muddy and just different colors onto it so I just use the same brushes that I use I'm just gonna really blend those areas out together my favorite 360 by Maybelline I'm never gonna change this this is my favorite favorite foundation so if you don't want to you know spend your bang for your buck I would say get this it's $10 I love this foundation 
and with foundation i pat it in more so than like scraping it all over your face so throughout the video this is taking some time because i'm like patting 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 because this is a medium coverage foundation so patting it patting it patting it is very important so i'm patting it throughout my face and i always use my master fix by maybelline I always put that coat on face throughout the video. You're going to see me keep spraying my face because I feel like it's very important for staying on. I'm going to go in with that NYX concealer palette with the lightest shade just to go in under my eye. Always spray, spray, spray my sponge. My Real Technique sponge, my baby. I love these. And I'm going to go in with my Sasha Cup. Sasha Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with my Ben Eye. And I'm going to mix those two colors together. I feel like with the Ben Eye, it gives a better effect because I am dark skinned, so it just looks better to me. I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'm going to just go in just to deepen things up a little bit. Deepen everything around the cheeks, around the top of my forehead. I'm going to go in with that Ben Eye under there just to make it look neat and like cut. So like I was a cut, okay? Cut me. <laughs> And I'm gonna go in and just sweep all of that away because I don't want like the boom gradient effect. I don't want that. So just sweep it away. I'm gonna use all of my stuff. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Renegade under my eye. We had to skip. I had to put my lashes on off camera because it is a difficult task. So I'm gonna go in. I am jamming y'all right now. I'm gonna go in with my After Dark palette. I'm gonna go in with that reddish color and supersonic i'm gonna go under my eye with it just to give it a little pop a little effect it's your choice you don't have to do it i'm gonna go back in with my wet and wild go under there under there now i'm gonna go in with my posh Medics cosmetics and beam queen i'm gonna do my brow bone just give it a little highlight i love doing highlight on my brow bone so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm jamming at the same time. And I'm going to go in with that same color in my tear duct. Y'all know I'm jamming to the Queen album, Nicki Minaj. I'm going to go in and do my cheeks. Oh, look at them cheeks. They are nothing. Okay, them cheeks is golden. I'm golden. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I'm feeling myself, period. You see me? Uh, so I'm going to go with my cheeks a little bit more <laughs> yo I'm mad annoying I'm going to the top of my head put it my everywhere and just put it everywhere I'm gonna go back with that B Bella brush I use that for my transition color and I'm just gonna use some more of it I'm gonna go back in with that in my ex brown pencil yes I am using it for my mouth too yes I'm gonna go on my next, my favorite one, period, is the creme brulee. And the creme brulee, I love this color because it's so natural. It's the pinkish nudie. You know, and I love it. Oh, it's done. Okay, bye.